Hello everyone and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. This is episode 10. Last time we went to the clouds and we were on the trail of Evelyn Parker. We found out information. We left a little bit of a hot trail behind of us there having to shoot our way out, but we made it and we've got relic malfunction issues as well. And Johnny and I are trying to work together to to survive to get through this together best friends now <laughs> and i have figured out um oh god i'm being cold um i have figured out uh my issue with the playstation controller stuff finally so what you have to do is you got to disable not only the steam input controller but you also have to disable PlayStation controller. You have to disable everything in Steam completely and then the game will just recognize the controller. So now it is properly DualSense capable. It will actually utilize the adaptive triggers, stuff like that. So I've been using the DualSense the whole time, but now it'll actually finally recognize it going forward. Uh, we are being called on the phone, however. Three in the morning. Come on. Takamira, what are you doing up, buddy? B, can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. No silly bastards do haven't sent Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options, knock on many doors. There will be a meeting, you, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me, the truth of events at Kompiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced, but it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Sunrise is quite early in Night City. I can still see the moon, but it's like, I guess it's all of the light pollution from the Neon City that keeps everything still quite light. Alright, at night. From the den. Okay, what are we saying? Why the fuck off, you creep. At night, from the den, located after the fifth bamboo in the hamlet, the fox goes out to hunt. He quenches his thirst at the watering hole. While waiting for your arrival, he takes shelter in the shade of the cherry blossoms. The fox is cautious. It shall emerge when it is sure that the water was not poisoned. I know that he's being cautious with, like, sending mixed, like, subtle messages that doesn't reveal the true plan, but it's just like... Bruh. <laughs> Takamura? Amateur Merc. Yes, this is Takamura. I'm using a burner via a secure connection, but I figured it would be best to use the secret code I created. I suspected it might be beyond your abilities. Meet me at the docks on Channel Street, Japan Town. Come at night. If nobody has followed you, I will show myself. <laughs> yeah, I trust this was understood. Not too complicated. God damn. Gonna show yourself or what? This part of the code. There is a saying in your country. One moment, it'll come to me. Ah, now I remember. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Holy shit. Takamura is hilarious. Bartmos Collective. Capitalism is a fish. Caught, served, cold. Um, okay, so we're just going to keep getting these random texts by Bartmos, which are just constant. Sure. Okay, so meeting with Takamura is the the main quest that's popped up here. I actually, uh, I'm kind of 
amazed as well because we have so many main quest path lines as well as side quest stuff. It's uh, and it doesn't feel overwhelming at this stage. It feels great that I have multiple avenues to actually explore. Uh, so we've got going to the afterlife uh, with Keanu and Rogue. I don't know why I was like, it's just we'll just call him Keanu <laughs> instead of. Uh, instead of Johnny, sure. Uh, the space in between, going to Jig Jig Street, we're gonna call Judy and let her know what happened with Evelyn, because we said that we would. Oh. Are these the two that you have to do to unlock Phantom Liberty? Does it have like, it looks like it has requirements to unlock the expansion. Want to track down Hellman? Start at the afterlife. Sure, the place has changed over the years, but one thing never will. You got a question you just can't shake, head to the afterlife. Always someone there to whisper the answer in your ear for the right price. And if that someone's rogue, shit, I wouldn't miss this meat for the world. And then, if I've learned one thing from Joy Houses, it's to quit while the going's good. Stare at those fake smiles too long and all you'll see is misery. As far as clubs go, they're all pretty pathetic, but at least it's their own way. It's in their own way. You know, the chances of finding Evelyn are close to zilch, right? Like, that's going to change your mind. Anyway, let's go pay a visit to this so-called Fingers. But if we don't find Parker, you owe me a drink. All right, let's call Judy. So apparently if we just press L3... V. You called. <laughs> Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing. Keeping it's a whole other bag. So... Managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dot goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from Clouds. Uh, all right, later, V. All right, we called her. We're not exactly on our way there right now. I'm, I haven't exactly figured out what I wanted to do. Um, I did say I was holding on to this perk as well, but we may as well spend it because we can essentially uh, refund them all at any time. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I think you have to refund them in order, though. Like, if you've got one that's linked, you obviously have to refund that and then that one. So you get, like, a one-time attribute reset, which we will probably do in, like, the late game, because then we can rearrange everything that's going on. And then we get more to explore around this period. I'm excited for my throwing knives to come into play. We'll get a um, small target for now. Just our mitigation chances are going to become impossible to hit. Um, assault in progress. Neutralize the peeps and secure the evidence. Um, yes. Hello? What's <laughs> this bag? Got some clothes. Got a purple jacket, hell yeah. Nice Euro dollars. Archived conversation, Tai Tang and Daisuke Morita. Okay. Let's take a read of this. NCPD job complete. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I just I just opened something in a bag. Everyone's already taken out here. Tai Tang, I'm here. Bartender says Maelstrom threatened him. He didn't have a choice. They just barged in, told him to start pouring, said he had to. Daisuke. Yeah, well, he could have called. This is our turf. He says he couldn't. He was scared. But he wasn't scared of us. Says he didn't tell him a thing. Yeah, of course he didn't. He doesn't know shit. What could he? So maybe we let him go? I mean, what else was he supposed to do? This is our fucking turf. You should have called us instead of throwing a fucking party. Beat his ass. It's the principle of the fucking thing. Okay. So I just rocked up to a 
the after math of a brawl and then it was like an NCPD job and then it's completed already. I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> um, I guess we're gonna take a walk and we'll we'll meet with Takamura because he's only 500 meters away. So we'll get that done. How cool is cybernetic cherry blossom trees? Holographic blossoms falling. God, I want to walk in this in real life so badly. I'd probably get stabbed immediately, but, like, it would be worth it, right? It's just an exceptional level of detail. Just taking a walk so we can actually soak it in. Like, look at all this garbage! Isn't that so cool, guys? Robert Wilson. Hey, V! You hear me? Loud and clear. Don't need to yell. What's up? Doing a little competition. Shooting. Prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. Uh-huh, that, that'd make sense. Well, you in? Oh, this is the, uh, this is the gun guy, okay. Didn't think big parties were your thing. Yeah, well, it ain't a big one, but, you know, running low on heads. Gotta bring in the clients, attract them and shit. Could try selling iron straight from factory. Skip the whole part where you tinker for hours on each little shooter. V, my dignity, please. Sure, I'm in. When? Well, uh... Right now. We'll wait on you. See ya. <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, that sounds fun. That dude looks like, uh, I can't remember his name because it's been so long, but he looks like, uh, a guy from Jack 3. Oh yeah, I should probably equip my, um, my actual weapons, now that I got all of my stuff back. Um, I think this is the one that has my silencer on it, my Dying Knight pistol. I quite like the the smart pistol, it was pretty cool. I don't know if I'll really utilize other types of weapons, but we'll see. And something that I like about this, like, DLC um, katana that was in our inventory is, like, it's not some super crazy overpowered weapon that you get early, because if you look, it just has, like, the same stats as other katanas that we've been able to pick up, and it's, like, been outclassed by others already. You know, like, we've got the cocktail stick now. <laughs> now, um... I want to f I want this Satori thing, because it says, this says, Thrun hits apply bleeding if the enemy is already affected by bleeding from Satori, Nahan will cause hemorrhaging instead. Drains health and regenerates yours. I don't know if we have to, like, find that type of blade somewhere. You'd think that, um, he'd be carrying both, but this was the only one that was on his corpse. But this is the throwing knife that we wish to to wield because it's got um, better return time and 10% more bleeding chance. So that's the one that we want to wield. In terms of katana, I think we want to have cocktail stick. My pink blade. <laughs> I love being able to do that animation when you get get it open again. So it only does it like once. Oops, I aimed my weapon, now everybody's pissed. <laughs> Clear out of here. Just adds. 
Uh, something that I've also turned off in the settings before this episode, just to see how it goes, is I have turned off the nudity sensor. I don't know how different it'll actually end up being overall. It's mostly protecting myself against YouTube's pretty strict uh, monetization guidelines. But, you know, I have to see how, see how it goes. If there's anything too egregious, um, we'll see. But even then, like, there was, like, ads like this that are still included in the censorship. Because it's usually just, like, the straight-up, um, nudity sensor. Because I've seen that ad before as well, you know? But I was told that apparently when you were going through one of your first missions with Jackie, that it even senses, like, the dead bodies and just covers them up in a sheet instead, just because there is titties involved. So it's like stuff like that, I guess. I don't feel that it takes away from the from the experience, to be honest. Not completely, because there's still so much more to uh, absorb and take in about this game anyway. The world. I love how the distance thing is always a little misleading because you're like, oh, 600 meters away, that's fine. But then like, you have to wind through so many different pathways that it ends up taking uh, a decent amount of time anyway. We're in Tiger Claws territory, Takamura. Are you sure this is a good idea? All right, have I been followed? <laughs> Oh, the, the atmospheric music that's playing just while we get to look at this amazing cityscape. It is good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Dude, the fog. The fog is approaching. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. I literally went through the same thing. Arasaka pulled all of my stuff too. I still miss my stock exchange user interface, man. I don't get to see my numbers fluctuate. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, We'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they'd prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him work. Mm. That's supposed to be reassuring? If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. The fact that you can still see the ads through the fog. He is usually camouflaged. Yeah, I just walked here. <laughs> My witness, V. 
Can speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. I know this voice. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then, Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until your Nobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence. Checking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't it ignore the truth! The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head! I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. What would you do now, were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. Oda, you, you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here? Didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Ooh. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. Find friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes and obtain something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Wakako. Hang on. Not so fast. Make it sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in All Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Okay. Dude. The whole vibe and atmosphere of like the secret underpass, foggy night meeting, and just oh, the way that it's all set up and presented is so good. It makes me feel so good. <laughs> Let's drive. Street. What is this name? <laughs> just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. What was that van's turning circle? That was that was crazy. Did like a 180. Any 
idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Uh, just asking. Does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Damn beautifully somber piece of music to be playing on this drive. <laughs> and then it ends as soon as we get out of the van. Uh, being on Jig Jig Street works quite well actually for this mission because we have to be here anyway. I guess they were itchy and heat. Oh my. Place has a wicked vibe. So there's more up your alley than clouds. Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Rough stuff, huh? How do these stores look with the uh, nudity sensor off? <laughs> That's what our city is now. A place for the glass, steel, and silicone. Governments and courts. I am. Got some flashy neon instead of uh, it being covered. <laughs> This bar really knows uh, what to pick. Wake up, people! Here we are, constructing artificial cities in orbit, downloading our minds into integrated circuits, no farm, coding no off foul. powerful AIs, and we can't make one damn flu vaccine. Mm. You want to know why? Corps want to destroy nature because it doesn't give them IPs or copyright ownership. So we eat test tube chicken, plants that grow in labs, hell, yeah, even ahead. photosynthesis has been trademarked. Enough is enough. It's time we said stop before the sixth extinction wipes us all out. You think they'll stop our food? What about our bodies? There's no chunk of them that can't be cut, improved and modified, so that every breath we take, every heartbeat generates profit. And what about your children? From the corpse perspective, it's untapped potential, a goddamn wasted commodity. Soon our techno-fascist overlords will convince you that having children isn't your natural right, but a privilege you pay for out of your pocket. The water you're drinking, the food you're eating, they're putting chemicals in that will reduce your fertility so that soon they'll be incubating babies in water tanks with serial numbers on their foreheads hooked up to cables instead of umbilical cords. Open your eyes! Snap out of it before it's too late! Oh, and then it goes to the news after that advertising holy shit like the juxtaposition of having 
Um, Jesus. The juxtaposition of having this sequence play out, right? You're having like this message play on the TV. It's like, open your eyes. They're putting water. They're putting chemicals in the water to turn the freaking frogs gay. And like, then you've got like this just happening at the same time in a triple X bar. It's just such a wild image to sit there and like take in. Mmm, this looks nice on the inside. Hell yeah, I would love to spend some time in this place. Hey, God damn. You, you asshole. You dirt eating, no good bastard son of a bitch. Stop right there. What? Huh? Oh, hey, honey. Hey, honey. What the fuck? What are you doing here? Sunshine, shh, shh, don't want any drama now, do we? Jesus. There are so many parts of this game where you just want to put yourself in a corner and just look at the, the snapshot of what has been put on the screen, you know, like, look at this. Makes you want to do, makes you want to go settings and we want to go interface and we want to go HUD. And I wish that there was just a turn everything off instead of having to do it one by one. But I just wish that there was a turn all off button, just full immersive mode. Maybe there is. Um, but when it's HUD visibility and they're all separate, it makes you just want to do this. Just like, look at that. With nothing on the screen. The funny thing is, is a lot of people will play video games and turn off the user interface for more immersion because it feels more realistic. But obviously in a cyberpunk sense, having user interface stuff is immersive because of like your optics and everything. But still, sometimes you just want to take that off the screen. Just look at this. Oh, are you stupid? Mr. Stud Fantasy Collection. Yo, yo, ever try rainbow poppers? Purple haze? Got every color under the sun I do. No, I'm good. Ah, uh, look at the sex shop when it's not censored. <laughs> oh, God. There's a lot more penises involved, I think. There you go. I can see that. That's great. So, in the censored version, obviously, this all becomes butt plugs and fists. But there's a lot more penises involved. Got something that'll keep you wet for hours. At least we got to see that uh, for a little bit. We get to see a little bit of what they have to, a little bit of what they have to offer. Here, kitty, kitty. What's the rush? You got anything to say? Does he just pop up sometimes just to like look at things? It seems like he does. I need that co processor. Well, what do you think? Like yesterday. There you go. Here's some, here's some more titties here. Oh my. Would you like some mouth titties? Would you like some. PlayStation 1 graphic titties? Hmm? Shop the titty collection now. Jacked and coke. You for free. Fuck off! Yeah, gear looks a little basic, but it works. So he didn't ask for 
I may not be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? On the TV? Very unlikely. Oh, but of course! Hideshi Hino! The man, the legend, in the flesh! Oh, you are just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, the late night comedy host! He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. Can you still do your famous, better bugger up? No. Come on, you don't forget a thing like that. Just once, please. V, we should go in. Now. Hideshi, don't leave this poor guy hanging. This is not the best time, truly. Oh, come on. I haven't heard it in years. Oh. Better back up! Wow. <laughs> Hino-san, what happened to you? I do not know. I do not recognize myself. Are you happy? May we go? Fine, let's go. Hideshi Hino, to have fallen so far. Such a shame. <laughs> oh man, that's great. All right, let me put my uh, user interface back on now. Put it all back on. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. Rogue. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws. No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? <laughs> Hideshi Hino. The comedian. Yamero, the you tender. Takemura Goro, this. Okada san, oai dekite kohei des. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, huh? oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Yes. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Caution. Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City and you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshaun not come to the phone? <laughs> Goro, remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that that a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex. I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. Hmm? My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? I've got eddies. For free. You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. Joy, 
Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction, they'll fly this way high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for? Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Okay then. We've got info. We must have another empty slot then for shards, right? Because I spoke about this earlier. I was like, okay, we've got the relic slotted in. So now we can't get like shards from people to like, you know, but clearly we can so we must have like multiple slots in case one is uh occupied so that's cool i'm glad because we can still uh get cool information that way instead of being like sorry i've got a relic stuck in there at the moment a delightful machua woman this information it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. All right, that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. Uh, now the good news is, we actually have business here anyway, so that's worked out quite well. So we're going to go and find Fingers Clinic now. So... Just while we finish up this part of the mission, let's read this. Daughter of Saburo Arasaka and one of the most enigmatic figures in the Arasaka Corporation. Her past is shrouded in secrecy and closely guarded by a team of lawyers prepared to torpedo any journalistic inquiry into her life. The predominant theory about her early life suggests that she was forbidden from leaving the family's residence near Tokyo until she came of age. Only her skills as a netrunner kept Tanako from becoming completely cut off from the outside world. Many also believe that she helped her brother Yorinobu return to the family fold after his infamous rebellion came to a fruitless halt. Although Hanako has never held any official position within the company, the buzz around her involvement in behind-the-scenes corporate scheming continues to grow. That said, separating truth from speculation remains nearly impossible. Rumors about Hanako Arasaka never last long, and neither do the people who spread them. Japantown. Given its popularity with tourists, it's no wonder Japantown feels like it's constantly buzzing with life. Crowds occupy the local bars, upscale restaurants, arcades, the famous Cherry Blossom Market, and especially the Shinto Shrine that's a must-see if you're in the area. Every corner holds a luxurious backdrop for a perfect photo op. Japantown doesn't disappoint. So what's the catch, you might ask? Japantown can be expensive, especially its nighttime attractions. Corpos with fat cred chips come here to play hard after a hard day's work, with cash liquid tourists right behind them. Local brain dance clubs, casinos, and bars are never short on customers. Just watch out for the tiger claws. They rule Japan town. Okay. All right, let's find Fingers Clinic. So we've got Jig Jig Street. 
Every city needs its red light district, does it not? Night City has Jig Jig Street, located in a section of Japan town where not only can you buy love by the hour, but also encounter suspect dealers offering exotic, rare, and illegal wares. Jig Jig Street doesn't have a reputation for being safe. It's not uncommon to enter with your wallet and leave with a black eye and empty pockets, but in spite of its reputation, it's popular with corpos who like to get their game on before venturing deeper into the city's many attractions. Alright. Damn, this is shady all the way back here. Fingers MD. Mitzi Sparks. Joy Toy. Sick. Faulty damaged. Well, well, what do we got here? And you just the cutest thing. If you're looking for a release, I just might be your man. Oh, God. God damn, I'm always just like one away because it's always telling me. It only tells you if you're like, there are some that have been a few away. Like we were at five out of eight for jacking in at cloud. But like, whenever this happens, I'm like, <laughs> Kindly get the fuck out of my way. Yo, you hear what this bitch said to me? Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. Best apologize for that bitch. Gotta be worth a damn to get an apology from me. And you're trash. Not worth shit. Nobody talks that way to little luck. Woo! That's right! Uh, you How do you feel about that? <laughs> We feel good now, guys. Fuck's sake. <laughs> uh, my non-lethal knife did a number on him, apparently. He's, he's, uh, he's definitely dead. But he can fit in with the rest of the trash. These slugs should know better than to talk shit to me. Here you go, baby. There you go. Ugh. In the garbage. <laughs> they just look like they fit right in there, don't they? I think we got cheered on by that person. I'm not going to apologize to some oh, thug trash. And, and benign. Don't turn off the light. Because <laughs> we're visiting to the Summer elements of rain. pure. What? Who the world with, with, with bloody stain imbrued. If, if for France a king of all we own, our prayer to him shall for thy peace arise. Sounds like paradise. Carnage, power shotgun. Yeah, Johnny. I know. Aren't we having a good time here today? Hey, you all right? No way I'm gonna swim! I hate water! Can't you see nobody cares? Fingers. Know where I can find them? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left the shredded cables and empty bottles. Hey, hands off her! Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? 
You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court, you Fuck pussy. Off and leave me be. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, Ugh. and you can fuck off the greener pastures. <laughs> I don't owe you shit. <laughs> oh, but you do. And that shit has a name. Something around 20 thou. What? Come on, you pulled that number out of your ass. Hey, what's that tone with me, you skank? Hey, look in the mirror. Who paid for all that? Think fingers would... Oh, you gotta pay me back. I can't do anything. I was like, I can't even deal with him. God damn. That sucks. Hope that teaches those candy ass Scott hey. suckers that oh, you can't here. here no more. Are you referring? Hello? There's a line. Nuh uh. You ain't cutting. Sit your ass down, down and wait your you turn. Know, heard some things, yeah. Like his hand sometimes slips. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Was she referencing the thugs that I took out outside? She was watching. Janet Brewer, Ross Austin. After the heist, Evelyn holed up with the Mox for a while, right? So why the hell did she go back to Clouds? <sighs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talked to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Okay. Um, well... Outside the window, there's some shutters that we can open. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God, no. Because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how, exactly? Moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. You worked at Clouds. Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Okay. Let's sit, shall we? You seen a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. And I can just wait. I could pay them as well. Jesus. My friend here, she's in really sorry shape. Couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Oh, oh. Of course. Honey, be my guest. Well, now hold on. Hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try Come on, let's go. Okay, so we can cut in front instead of going around the window. Hmm. How about now? Better. Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner had a longer <laughs> face than you. Just watch you don't Edges break your legs, honey. Your You'll be begging for a new pair. Don't worry. Your eyes will adjust. Can I not get in here? Damn. 
final resting place back in his native Japan. For me, maybe I can like break the shutters. Probably. No, oh, the door's open anyway. <laughs> All right, in we go. Yes. Hello. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your clinic. Ah, oh, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, oh, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, Tiger Claws? As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please. Scrapyards offer better quality than this. These girls know your chip and faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? You're looking for a... Friend? <laughs> Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. Yeah. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of we jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but... If only I knew who you were talking about. Suggest you start remembering all you can. Either that or I'll make sure you never forget my face. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. See, that didn't that didn't take much, did it, fingers? Thank you. They mentioned a moth of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. Need air. I'll be outside. He's not going to be hurting anyone anymore. At the moment, my fucking V is going to go around Night City and kill every lost fucking scumbag that there is. <laughs> and I do not have an issue with it. Finn Gerstadt. Jesus. He'll be feeling good after that one. Ah, oh, yes. Studded dildo for when you have that special itch. Sure. No, thank you. Oh my god, look at those up. Those are the titty upgrades. Are those the titty upgrades? Or are they weird fleshlights? I actually, I think these are fleshlights. They're not the titty upgrades. You know, like the ad that we saw. <laughs> A little bit different. Oh my god. Look at what I've become. <laughs> Didn't get any of Fingers' blood on my face. But damn, alright, let's get out of here. He had a computer. Can I access it? It's got like the cursor icon. 
Hmm. I don't think I can access his computer. Seems a little bit different than the, uh, the normal ones. All right, let's go. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Death's Head symbol bring anything to mind. Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit would be on the move almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. Could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. All right, we got leads, we got options. Let me think for a sec. I know a local fixer and let's give the Dark Knight set a shot. Dark Knight site a shot. Would we, be, would we be speaking with Wakako again about this one too? Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van. All right. Locate a terminal and find the pleasures of NC domain and ask around XPDs on Jig Jig Street. All right. Let's, let's see what information we can pick up around this place. We arrived to uh, Jig Jig Street and Fingers Clinic and caused a right mess of the place. No regrets. Can't say they didn't deserve it. Alright. Let's do some snooping, shall we? Oh, so this is the computer that I can use? Alright, hold on. Let's ask around first. Couldn't have been just a bit more careful? But I was, and I gotta work out, you know? Hey, okay, another computer. So the objectives are all computer-based? Hey, Takamira's here. <laughs> Hanging out with his favorite friend. Um... Okay, hold on. I'm sure. Don't got the energy to finish you up. Stop whiffing for a week. Okay, I got people I can talk to. There we go. We're both going hungry. I know you want me. Shit, her implants are older than I am. <laughs> Can't believe she finds the spares to keep them running. Okay, can I talk to... No, so these are just ones that I can scan. What? You want a new friend? Trying to figure out who I can talk to for information, actually. Mm. Hot dogs hit the spot. Wonder what's in it. Oh my! You do not want to know. <laughs> so, where to? Gonna be a busy night. Hey! Hey, you're a troubled street? soul if I ever seen hey, one. Get you something to ease the mind. Take the edge off. 
Got the whole alphabet. CFP, PCP, resin, skate smash, maybe Vanadol? Or maybe something that'll make you hot, huh? Sin, MDA, a little LP9. That last shit's so good it'll make you cry. Can't talk to you for information. Damn. Hey, yo, man, you trying to rip us off? I got four bags missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. I ain't dealing with Pablo. I'm dealing with you. That means you and me got a problem. Now, I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me what I'm owed. Oh, you want to try? Go on, son. <laughs> Dude, the quick draw right in the gut, and he's out of here. God damn. Okay. Hello, V. Wakaka. Uh, Wakaka Okada. You you do not think she will betray us? What? She doesn't charm you anymore? Having doubts? You only have to look at her—a venomous spider wearing the mask of a nice old lady. But I will not be fooled. If it were not her disdain for Arasaka, she would have sold us out for a handful of pachinko balls. But since she is not, that means she is something even more dangerous, an opportunist. Maybe she simply wants to spear two rats on one stick and is waiting for the right moment. V, I am in Kabuki. I have two questions. How could anyone call this filthy slum Kabuki? Kabuki is a form of art. I will let you know shortly. <laughs> oh, man. Also, this dude types very fast. Let me know if I can be of help. I may take you up on that offer, but for now I will manage alone. Your time will come. Uh, texting this dude is so good. Right. Hey, you looking for some company tonight? Um, no, but do you know anything about XBDs? Got something that'll keep you wet for hours. Como estas? They're just dealers. I can't, I want to pick this up. The problem is I can't pick this up because there's a dealer thing in the way. Go away. I don't want to know. The range. How, how are you supposed to... Show me the range. There you go. Uh, you do both at the same time. So you can still pick it up. There you go. Maybe asking around we can shop for it. Yeah, there we go. If this isn't even in the the cutout on Jig Jig Street of asking around. Looking for uh, something special. A uh, brain dance to really... You mean smut? No. More hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street has a whole lot of peculiar flicks, and I mean peculiar. Okay, find the dealer. Okay. Got something that'll keep you wet for hours. Stop. There's someone down here. Oh, this is something raw. Untouched. This is dirty. Raw is all you get with me. What's your edge? Want something that'll floor me. Really scramble the neurons. And we've got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootouts, black ops interrogations, amputations. No, 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 no. I mean something like, well, you know. Fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? I want to know what it's like to, to kill somebody. See, wasn't so hard. So, got some classics from the last Corp War, or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. Okay, here's our shady dealer. Lenny Nero. What 
What have you got? Virtues. Any special kind? Well, let me put it to you this way. Those who know, don't need to ask. Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs for what you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Where do you get these scrolls? Said you weren't a pig. Just curious, that's all. Once you booted up your virtue, dare say your curiosity will be satisfied. People that make these, <laughs> obsessed with privacy. Never even occurred to me to ask where they're from. To which caution I probably owe the fact that I'm still alive, talking to you. I'm no connoisseur, trust me. <laughs> sure. All I need to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies, you can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only give regulars discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Damn, my cool points worked for nothing. Got anything that might interest me? All right, let's see. It'll be this one. Wait. Vinyl record. Look, that's Keanu Reeves for sure. That's Johnny Silverhand. Junk! An antique of a bygone era, but there's still no substitute from the sound from authentic vinyl. <laughs> okay. Um, XBD deep fried death's head moth and illicit brain dance incompatible with your software. That's for 4,000. Incompatible acid bath deleted scenes. Hardest disc deleted scenes. No limbs. No problems. This one says no arms, no problems. Uh, the hardest, no limb hardcore, the making of, and torture mix volume 15, the making of. Are you able to take brain dances and play any and all of them? Like if I was to pick one of these up, I'm assuming not, right? Because they're not going to show us this type of fucking shit on screen, you know? But it makes me wonder, I'm like, can you access brain dances if you pick one up and go through them? I'm not sure. It's all just so brand new to me. We'll pick up the one that's actually quest related. Um, and while we're here, I'll just sell some one, uh, sell some things. All right. Pleasure doing biz with you. Need some money back? There you go. So we could have browsed the internet for some stuff, but you did a shady deal instead. Because what would what would we be going on the net? I guess it's already here. The pleasures of Night City. So you can have a look at brain dances here. Purveyors of brain dance are like ramen shops. You don't have to look to find them, there are too many to include, so we've curated the best selection for you right here at PNC. What are you doing? I'm using the computer. Interesting. Alright. Let's meet Judy at her van. We got what we needed. So she'll take us to a to her little spot. And we can get to brain dancing, and I guess we'll pick it apart. I love that we've got um, Takam Takamura's van right here, and then we've got Judy's van right here. <laughs> and Takamura is apparently in Kabuki, even though he was hanging out out of Wakako's, so he's just left his van behind. It's the same van. It's a popular model with uh, characters that we know, apparently. Just... Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Oh, shit. Damn, we're doing it in the van. I thought we were going to go back to Lizzie's. Ready when you are. Wild. I want you to describe what you see. 
might catch them from that means. Oh god, this is gonna be brutal, dude. So I can immediately start analyzing things. The editing mode's good to go. Dig around all you want. Scav, gotta be. No one else with that kind of fashion sense. Slice Order of pizza. Reason. Pizza from Bucket Slice. I guess that helps us to pin down a potential location. Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking. Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Coveralls had a patch on them. Electric cork. Mm, could be a costume, a prop. Factory worker fetish. Hard as hell to believe. <laughs> It'd explain the higher thermal readings too. You could be onto something. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Scab woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XPDs. Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Coffee was cold. Like, from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly. Which is not something one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. It's gotta be close by. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. BC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Bucket slice chicks out, too. How can you be sure, though? That is quite the detective work there, V. person is getting like splayed wide open what in the fucking world it looks like nothing when you're outside of it but when you're inside of the body holy shit getting fried holy shit you really want to be inside of the person for this So it was a net runner. My lord, okay. Here we go. Old electric corp power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. Nothing else to garner from this school. It was no brutal. Time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me. Let's get going. On our way. All right. Heading to the power plant. 
Takamura drops us off here. Judy takes us away. <laughs> that virtue sample we saw with the death said moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then stop it. There'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. All right, let me, let me level up our character. Cool is going to nine. We're on throwing knife time. So recovery time for throwable weapons and level two crit hits, headshots and hits to weak spots with throwable weapons apply poison. So an actual just poison perk is nice. Extra health on crit sh hits and headshots. Applying poison to an enemy now applies blinding and disables sprinting. Strong attacks and throwing weapons used against poison enemies deal substantial poison damage. Allows you to apply poison to mechs. Corrosion, that's cool. It's... oh man. I just kind of want to go full on into this. Style over substance is so good. Guaranteed crit hits with thrown attacks when crouch, sprinting, sliding, dodging, or dashing. Also from motorcycles when airborne, drifting, or dismounting via jump. It's just crazy. Just... No movement speed penalty when aiming a throwable weapon. Unlocks the ability to sprint while crouched. Hell yeah. Okay. An optical camo is active or you are undetected. Neutralizing an enemy grants extra bonuses. This is wild. This whole path is definitely what I want to pursue, I think. And you get... There's mitigation chances in here that are pretty good that you could end up refunding uh, from reflexes even, because there's a lot of mitigation chances here. You could potentially cash out and put them over here instead. As always, your business is my business. Let's dive straight into today's big story, folks. Arasaka has announced the sale of its unprofitable facilities in Kitakiri Judy. and Fukuoka. This is just the next Judy. step in the bull. <laughs> Judy! By new I think she's dead. <laughs> which he announced at last week's shareholders meeting. <gasps> Holy shit. And here we are. The savings from these cuts. Lady. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. Long considered a black sheep in the Arasaka dynasty. Yorinobu has apparently Oh, it's weird because she's right there, but then it's like her little like virtual avatar. It's not gonna be pretty in there. So if you mean to tell me to hang back altogether, don't bother. Alright. Going in. Thanks, Judy. Maybe she got up and walked it off. Maybe you literally disintegrated her under the wheels of the van. Who knows? What's going on here? Oh. Isidoro Flores. What's going on here, fellas? Nice ride. Open the boot. While he's like beating up this dude. The fact that they just have like names, you know, makes you feel like you could interact with them. But it seems that this dude's just getting beaten on in an alley, and I'm supposed to just be fine with it. All right, Judy's on call. We're going in. Probably save before this, that would be the smart thing to do. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on. Did you get everything inside? Almost. Scavs, baby. Get your ass moving. It's 
my break. Shield. After this mission, we'll read up the stuff that we've uh, picked up. Smart assault rifle. All right, enough slacking around. Get that shit off the street. If you are in such a hurry, you do. Oh, I'm being traced. No one's taught you your place yet. All right, up there is where that's coming from. I love the ability to ping the ping the camera and see where it's coming from. Out some scavs, baby. Time for some action. I just love the concept of sitting at the computer just watching ads. Good night. Weapon glitch. 70 years of cyberware. Upgrade. Alright, let's take a look. Right. Seventy percent real blood dripping meat. Alright, surveillance system. Let's turn that off. So from here, we can see some shit. I could initiate an overload of that. It would freak everyone out. It would put them on high alert, that's for sure. I don't know if we need to. I feel like we can get in without it. All right, catwalk camera. I like being able to see where we are and at least comparison to everybody else. And then we're in the hall. Okay, so it looks like there is three inside. Crow. inside, more outside, huh? Okay. The gate's open. Messages, tip off. Ivan Medvedev, Slav for Life. Someone on Jig Jig asked about our studio, so either we're about to get nominated for an award or get robbed. Okay. Peeps are asking because we've got good shit. Word's out and it's spread and it was just a matter of time. If they want to rob us, then go ahead. I'd like to see them fucking try. We should at least double the guards outside so we don't get people coming for autographs. Is this... Was this my fault? I feel like this would have been my fault, right? I asked about it. Right, let's see. Another one here. So there's a little side entrance. I can go up that way. Up, buddy. 
Cyberware capacity increased. Slowly dragging the body over this way. Hearing my, my V just struggling. There we go. Got the blueprint. Oh. Be there in a sec. Close. Try to find a way to the lower levels. Lower levels? <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna go this way. So we're gonna go to the sub levels, but we'll clear it out from the top first. How is going, Falls? This gig treating you well? Meh. Meh. What the fuck does meh mean, huh? I sit here all day, doing fuck all. I see your ugly face more than my input. Input? You know what I mean? Oh shit. I think it, I think it was because they were just a little bit aware of what I was doing. I just flashed myself. Alright, perfect stealth. I'm dead. <laughs> I've just been exploded. Fuck. I fucked up that throw because they were a little bit more aware of me. So I think the fact that they were aware of me reduced the damage that I, uh, the knife would do. Because it should have been a straight shot, I think. So I fucked that up. Alright, where are we now? Alright, just to this spot. Gotcha. You think he's going to be fine here? I think he'll be fine here. I don't think they'll come around the back. All right, let's try that again. We're off to such a good start. <laughs> oh, there's the odd graffiti there. Another tarot card. Justice. Justice is the card of conflict resolution. It proclaims the need for order to see through lies and deceit. And re a return to the natural state of affairs. Justice implies a just sentence, but also due process. Oh, damn, there's actually quite a few, too. There's some Phantom Liberty ones. All right. We'll have to keep an eye out. I like that there are things where the game is, like, wanting to push you to actually observe all of the artwork in your environment as well. That's fun. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Try to find a way to the lower levels. What the fuck does meh mean, huh? Do you see how that didn't work? Hmm. It, the, the, the preview for the knife... Hey, I got my knife back. The preview for the knife... Um... Said that it would take out all the health. Maybe only from behind and he just turned around? Hmm. Hmm. Get around the side. You still alive? I'm here. Got no time to creep around. Press the wrong button, I was meant to ping. I was set trap. Didn't work. Oh. Where'd the knife get stuck? In the fence? God damn it. Ah. <laughs> uh, knife got stuck in the fence. Bastard. Okay. Problem going a little loud. Alright, let me up here. Good move is uh, getting a lot of good crafting components, it seems. All right, give me my knife back. Let's 
So I was able to throw my knife into that dude's head. It didn't kill him, but I got my knife returned to me from a distance, which I didn't expect. But it is so fun to just slide around though as well and be shooting at him. I'm really enjoying that. Being able to like overheat enemies, reboot other enemies' optics to prevent them from shooting you while you focus on another enemy. There's just so much about that working together, which is so fun. Uh, and now we're going down to the sub levels. I found it. Found a way down. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. P, hey, hold up. I'm close. I'm here. Jesus. You need to get to level Sprinting at me from the darkness. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Alright. Hear that? Evelyn's? Without a doubt. Fuck. Keep donors sedated if the product fights and segment segmental. Oh god, I, I can't fucking read the spray paint. We don't have enough methionine for today's batch. Looks like snuffs are only the tip of the iceberg. It's like candy for grown-ups. Smells like propyl methionine. Must be cooking RPM here. RPM. Used to sprinkle it on my breakfast. All right, Johnny. We got two people in here. This RTL, it won't make anyone foam at the mouth, will it? Because if it does, we'll be out of biz. Do you have any clue what we're baking here? Propyl methylene makes you trip so hard, even an animal would shit himself. Do you really think a little synth sugar is going to hurt? I don't understand why they take it. Nobody buys it because they like it. Except for the schizos. So, who buys it? The fucking corpse. Who else? <laughs> fucking coward! Hiding like a child! God, I love the combat music. It's so good. Of their stuff. Black brain dancers. Alright, let's have a look. Let's check into the computer. Hang on. Can I do this again? <laughs> I'm 
Let me try that one again, please. Uh, BD BD one C. That I can do. Um, can't do the others. All right. What you got for me? Local network. Surveillance system. Turn that off. Need to get into the hallway past this room. Okay. Ooh. What about them? There's more. I can always just get rid of them my way. Your call, but you gotta make it now. No. I've seen these spots. I know. Boss, isn't he? So he should live like one. He's the boss because he can get any pussy to work for dirt. Pussies like you. Used to be that pussies were just pussies. Now we're the ones with our dicks in our hands. Hmm? Hey, what if we stopped losing and started winning for once, huh? Go on. You and me load the crates into my old Peter and take the high road. That piece of junk? We wouldn't get past it. They dragged us out and splattered our brains on the pavement. And the other genius ideas? Back in the samurai days, we'd place ads in this thing looking for background dancers. Yeah, Johnny, I'm busy right now. Just shut that so he doesn't see. <laughs> so they didn't see me take this dude out. Alright, advertisement, calm down. I'm gaming here. Now oh, you see, I'm gaming. I don't need to hear the sex noises right now. Stop it! Oh, you, there you go. You can actually destroy TVs. Wonderful. <laughs> Looks like you weren't the only ones with bright ideas. It was a veritable gold mine of women. Dance magazine. Thanks, Johnny boy. on the move, okay. Oh my god, why is he so aggressively on the move too? Yeah, yeah, that's better. Take him out quick. Oh bruh! Oh shit! God damn it. You're supposed to be off. Eat it, assholes. Look at us now. Now Delta to the hallway. Out, 
very good at looking where you're supposed to be. Huh? See them up ahead. On air, what's going on in here? Yes, bitch! Show yourself! Ah, uh, yep, there you go. On the computer right now. Where are you, Shluka? Don't! How about that, baby? Wait, who else is here? Someone else wants some fun? Out, huh? Local network. Not smart enough to hack this one, apparently. Explain yourself, Nadia Papanova, the original Gopnik. Is this week some kind of fucking joke? Exactly how many BDs you sell? I want a list of which ones, how many, and to who. It's 4 p.m. already, and we're not even close to our target. Okay, I got a little distracted from actual sales, but hear me out. I have a fucking good excuse. Next week, we could be making twice, no triple our target. I expect this guy from Jig Jig Street on the Pleasures of NC site. He's not the usual street hawker, doesn't have the gift of the gab, but all it takes is a few words and he knows exactly the kind of person he's doing biz with and what they're after. Excuse, uh, excuse me, mate. Excuse me, mate. I was reading. I was reading. How dare you interrupt reading time? There you go. Don't lose your head, bro. <laughs> Never interrupt daddy's reading time. <clears throat> if you think you could fool me with this, I'm actually working bullshit, when really you just surf porn sites and hang out with lowlifes instead of making sales, then you're only fooling yourself. Next week, you're making double the target, and I make up whatever is missing with implants I rip out of you myself. Clear? No need for that. I already met the guy. Gave him a few of our BDs as a trial run, and before I even got back to the studio, he called asking if we have more. Trust me, he knows what peeps like and sells. He's not the how can I help you customer service type, but I never saw anyone leave empty handed. Customers will be drawn to the Death Head Moth brand like our BD stars are to the light at the end of the tunnel. Hey, a guy from Jig Jig is interested in teaming up. Some kind of small-time distributor selling out of his coat pockets on the street. But from what I hear, he has quite the clientele. Do some digging. Okay, I'll go meet him this afternoon. Yeah. Alright, time for us to take a look around here. Anyone else still alive at this point that wants some of me? Messages. Okay, we got some good stuff on here. Don't make trouble. Be trouble. Be trouble. Current month orders. Act a strip of implants alive, amputated at the joints, removal of internal organs, hemorrhaging. Actress placed on stage in front of spectators, extras, must perform despite complete lack of talent. The crowd whistles, laughs, shouts names, then throws bottles. At the end, they tear it to shreds. Actor wakes up with his hand pinned down by something heavy. He has to free himself. Client will pay extra if he ends up cutting or tearing the hand off. Actress escaping from somewhere she was held captive. She manages to get out of the building and into a car before she's caught. The girl's clever. We have to really convince her that she stands a chance. Actress wants to commit suicide. We use that. Let her jump out the window. String up a net first without her noticing. Same drill. Make her think she stands a chance. Jesus Christ, this is so grim, dude. <gasps> dude, Evelyn Parker. 
It doesn't say deceased. We've got Mike Finnegan, Lucy Kreef, Wendy Daha, Ben Kardakian, and Evelyn Parker. Still alive. There you go. through an identity crisis. Trying to do too much at once. Like the Archer Hella or the Thornton. Hey, how many barrel we used yesterday? I can't account for two. Seven. Ah, oh, okay. Anyway, looks like we have a new client. We'll have to increase production by 15%, but nothing set in stone yet. Thanks for the heads up. Right, got our Netrunner. We get Netrunner any day now, and before you ask, no. You have no idea what he signed up for. You think he will be testing equipment. Let's make a trade. Gentlemen, I have a few virtues to get rid of, but we urgently need new material, no matter the gender. More meat than chrome, the better. Single use only, of course. I am open to negotiation. Let me know if we could come to some arrangement. Miss Shobo, maybe you should check who you address first. <laughs> yeah, damn. Body needed for BD. Client seeking BD with white female, capable of withstanding a lot, no anesthesia, must be experienced, young, knockout gorgeous. No termination for now. Can you handle it? It's still available? I have a girl who is perfect for this. Sure is. Send a demo reel. Netrunner, unhappy ending. Hey, we'd like to buy a scroll of a Netrunner trying to break through the black wall. Ending shouldn't need mentioning. Name your price, we'll pay no questions asked. But A, the scroll has to be of the primest quality, and B, we get a sample before payment. We already start scouting actor and we have a BD ready for you in a couple of weeks. Oh, damn. Okay. We, all, we got some information on Evelyn there. Let's keep digging. Before you've even left the dealers, you Clear. Keep going. Yeah, it's clear because I damn cleared it. Ah, yes, condom and fluorescent lipstick. We'll need that for later. Cuffers. Classic. Can't go wrong. God. Except these are solid steel, not the softcore plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own gunning to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out. Next level. I think that's a maintenance room. See what I can stir up. Use technical ability eight out of twenty. What am I looking at? Damn. Local network. Turn that off. Staying here and I'm going elsewhere. Right, I guess she's staying here. Oh, hello. Jesus. Oh my god. It looks nice in here. about cyber psychosis. We're gonna have a lot of reading to do after this. We've picked up a lot of shards. Now the surveillance system is connected to so many networks that it's like whenever you shut it down it's always impossible because it seems like it's still connected to another device somewhere. So is that girl Dr. Fingers give us going to be useful for anything? Uh, that chick is a bad omen, that's all I'll say. We should get rid of her ASAP and forget scrolling any BDs with her, because if word about her spreads, we're fucked. What omen are you talking about? Next thing I'll find you staring into crystal balls. What are you, my reincarnated babushka? I don't believe you're shitting your pants just because of some comatose girl. What do you want, hmm? You know what? Don't answer that. Whatever it is, just stop taking it before your brain damage gets even worse. Because, like, you can tell she's not from Jig Jig, more like clouds or even the mocks. And for the record, I don't touch our supply, and you know that. 
But there's this corpo. I sold him some of our shit. Apparently it made him aggressive. Smacked some joy toy across the face. He told me when it happened, he noticed the shadow of Lizzie on the wall. The girl who started the mocks. And guess what happened? A week later, he was dead. They found him in some back alley, tied to a gutter, suffocated with a stocking. It's not like I was tubes with the guy, but still, that's nowhere to go. Who cares how you go if you're dead, decapitated with a nail filer or shot in the spleen, it makes not one iota of difference. It's not the RPM, then it's the BDs that are fucking with your head, because your imagination is starting to get more whack than what we're scrolling. So you don't care how you're remembered? What if you die in the toilet, huh? You fucking gonk, get back to work. Don't you understand nobody care about you? Whose fucking memory will you be in? You would barely fill up any space in my deck, you and your fucking omens. God damn. Well, it's true. There is a bad omen around Evelyn, and it's me, and I'm coming for you. Oh, God. So this would be... Uh, this would be censored. There'd be like a... There'd be like a body bag, or like a sheet across her, I assume, if we had the nudity sensor on, because there are titties involved there. Don't kill me, YouTube. We're doing it for the content. Got it out all her implants. You can't even see it. Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Scabs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Oh yeah. Jesus. Outside all day in the rain. That sucks so much, man. Cheer. No, I hate that everyone here is dumber than bricks. Hey, the door is open. Walk out. No. Or I could just crack your skull. Shut you up. Why did that work? Sand in your ass. No one. I just hate it. It always smells like. Oh, I can put you in here. I hate the dogs too. No. So go around the side here. All right, let's take a look. So in here we've got. Oh shit. Is that her? There she is. We found her. We got Evelyn. She's on the camera. These are leaders. Or... I could blow this up right now, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. Dude, being able to do it through the... Like, through the actual camera is crazy. Oh no, they're tracing my location. Uh, hang on, it's taking him some time. Wait. There you go. Let's take out that one. <laughs> All right, people are people are getting put on alert now. My ram is not enough. I might get tracked before this unless I can blow something else up real quick. It's not close enough to that for that yet. Still tracing. Right, I should be able to do it now. I just need to get a view on him. There you go. Come on, let's get the kill. There you go. You can't trace me anymore, bitch. 
He's dead. I'm still being traced. Damn it. Okay, I was being traced by someone else. Gotcha. Makes sense. Come for me then. Let's go. Oh, this was just in the next room. Wild. Oh, look at the cybernetics coming out the back there. Totally fried. You tried, buddy. Where are you? Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Freed up the elevator. Should be easy to get out of here. Oh. They're just chilling in brain dances? Well, they <laughs> don't lose your head. <laughs> no. Wait one sec for me. God damn. They were too busy, like, watching brain dances that they didn't even know that a fucking katana was coming right for them. Fight fair! Fight fair? No. Okay. Crazy. Power's up. We're able to get a generator going, except there's still a little issue with the setup. The light's either on the bathroom or the studio. For the life of us, we can't figure out how to have them both on at the same time. So then do piss breaks, or else the actor will break character and we don't have time for that shit. Yeah, of course we won't switch off the equipment in the studio or anything. Don't you fucking dare think of coming up to use mine. You either sort it out, it's your, your loss. You can work knee-deep in shit for all I care, as long as the BDs get done. I went out to get some fresh air and the fucking street lamps are flickering like Totenton strobe lights. Either that girl we scrolled the BD with is sending messages in Morse, or that implant of hers is sucking up enough juice to cause a blackout. Just to install some breakers or something. We're in a fucking power plant. There has to be something lying around. Use your imagination. Fit in a current regulator. Fuck, it's like I'm working with children. Jeez, okay, we'll think of something. I'm on a break now, anyway. Um, okay. The ability to decapitate with the blade is nice. So you can cut off limbs with censorship, but you cannot cut off heads. But heads can be removed still, because it happened in an earlier mission. We just can't be the one to do it, maybe? I don't know. Regardless, there you go. Right, hold on, Judy. Before we go in for Evelyn, who's in that room, we'll just take another scan of the place. It's so enjoyable. Oh, this is the room that we watched. This is so enjoyable to do a, a balance of doing some stealth, taking people out, hacking into things, but also the ability to just run on in there and slide around and shoot them with the silenced pistol or go in with the katana is so tempting. I'm loving doing both at the same time. Super enjoyable. If I can get myself some free eddies and cybernetic things uh, as we go through, um, I'm a fan of that too. There's the Pizar. Grenade upgraded. Sick. I need to actually look into this because I haven't looked into the actual grenade thing. So we've got frag grenade, but we can swap it to a flashbang grenade or an EMP grenade. Electrical damage, blinding for five seconds, and this one doing 135 physical damage. So that's fun. We use the frag grenade for now. Yeah, I think one of my favorite elements to do here is going into the camera, being able to check out all of the locations, 
and being able to do some serious damage from there as well. So set off a commotion and then come for them later. Oh shit, hang on. You can turn good force detonation on the there, we could have done that. Okay. No point now, but that's fun. Forced the furnace to explode. So many ways that you can handle all of the different combat encounters. Right, let's go. Alright, you ready, Judy? Because this is not a pretty sight. Yeah. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable 2. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. Let's do this. Oh, man. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Now! Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? This is so brutal. Is she okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine. It doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. This type of fucking BD shit is horrific, dude. And, like, very confronting stuff in this game, for sure. Like, they're like, look at this. Look at this great city. It's beautiful, and there's so much shit going on, even though there's, like, crime shit at a, at a sky-high rate of violence, all of that kind of stuff. But then it's like... When you really get into the nitty gritty personal stories of Night City and getting to know these characters, it is so depressing and confronting. It's going to be okay. You're safe. Like I'm walking around the city going, this place is so beautiful and there's so many details here and everything's so great. And then it's like, it's the, the human experience in Night City is harrowing indeed. What's wrong with her? Honestly, I don't know. She's got to be seriously traumatized. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Fuck. All right. We're getting out of here. Johnny's just watching. You just think of the, just the pure amount of shit that Ev's been subjected to here. It's awful. Especially just the fact that, like, she was hacked and then basically thrown in the trash and then just picked up by people. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Ah, uh, smoking? Won't hurt those rosy lungs of yours any more than that fresh night city air. So quit stalling and start puffing. Fuck, you know what? After that, dude, sure. That's fucked. Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though. 
is it? Let's go. Okay. The information from him. Call you back. <laughs> Hello? So, where were we? The information from Okada-san. Very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where'll it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted in-cart station? In the south of Japan town, there is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. Sorry, buddy. I think we're going to make you wait. We've got a lot more stuff to get to at the moment. Oh, it's always the depressing Night City rain whenever shit's going down, huh? That is going to be where we leave this episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, that was a very intense mission rescuing Ev, but she is alive. Is she well? We do not know, but we will find out next time. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today for this significant story event. Very curious to see how this is going to play out, if we'll even get any information from Evelyn. But yeah, we have we have a lot to get to. We have a lot to read as well uh, that we've picked up here. So we might just cap off the, the episode reading a couple of these just to close it out. Not all of them, because we did pick up quite a lot. Uh, we will read some of these now and then we will close out the episode. So I will say my farewells now. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next time. Beyond the border of empathy. Last night on TV, I saw the following scene. A Militech squad in some debris-ridden corner of the Middle East, fighting the enemy. Terrorists, political opponents, shit. Maybe they were just actors. It doesn't matter. It never really mattered in the first place. One of them was wearing a recording equipment, scrolling a brain dance. I can count and find in that fresh BD in any shop within days. Turn it on and bam, you're in a war zone. You feel what they feel, you taste the blood in your mouth and the reassuring grip of the scroller's rifle. But that's not the worst of it. The worst is how the editor will be sure to try and show off the rifle. Get a good shot of the manufacturer's name. Another split second and you'll be ready to buy the exact same one. Even order it with the same dents and scratches. Free home delivery. Only 20 or 30 years ago, we were asking ourselves, when will we cross the border at which empathy becomes irrelevant? Now, standing in the shelled out ruins of a home with a rifle in our hands, it's hard to believe that border ever existed. We already live in such a... Uh, such a world where that is already an issue, the complete lack of empathy towards certain things. And technology and social media and such a overwhelming exposure to constant sadness and depression and awful events numbs our brain to it. And it's so hard for us to connect and empathize with things that are happening outside of our own personal experiences. We're having this take place, you know, if someone in our own personal life dies or is going through something we are having the worst time of our lives but we also know at the exact same time that's happening every single day almost every single second to someone else all over the world and then we're told of death tolls and numbers and like all of this significant stuff and it doesn't connect with the brain as much as it would when you're like directly exposed to it there is a complete lack of empathy to certain things that it's it's really really hard because it's like one week there's this natural disaster that's just wiped out thousands of people and then there are there's a war going on and then people are dying at every single turn and there are people in your own city that are dying and it's just it's just this constant haze of awfulness that's going on that people want to just end up they end up numbing their brains or people end up turning on brain dances to feel completely different emotions or they doom scroll etc etc Something I really uh, think is quite uh, interesting about uh, even just cyberpunk as a, as a genre or that sort of mentality is it takes already the dark stuff about humanity and it dials it even further down as where we could end up. And it's some of it is quite cool when you go, wow, look at the future of technology and this fun stuff that's going on, but then all of the shit that comes with it. And something that I think I'm really enjoying about this game 
is uh, it's not shying away from all of the, the shit. It's not like, look how cool everything is. It's also, look how fucked everything is at the same time. So reading these shards is great because they're, a lot of them, for the most part, they're very particularly placed uh, around the quest lines that you're actually playing. Obviously, there's some repeat ones because they're still relevant. You might miss one in one room and find it in another. Like, there's a few that we've found that double up. Uh, like familiar names and stuff, but yeah, reading this stuff definitely hits, especially with the quest line that we've uh, just worked through. But get high at home these days when the police have so much more to worry about than whether the kids are smoking special cigarettes when designer drugs can be bought on any corner. We say back to the basics. Why line producers and dealers' pockets? when you can make your own concoctions at the comfort of your own garage. In the following chapters, we'll give you quick, easy to follow recipes for your favorite boosters. It's fun. Sure it is. Um, Chrome Night Love is one that we haven't read yet, but I um, accidentally opened it. Chroman's mask glinted in the light of the setting sun, like a beacon in the dark of this rotten city. Lucille's heartbeat began to quicken. Her legs trembled beneath her. Not blood, hot blood, Blah, blah, blah. Chrome Night Love. Chroman's mask glinted in the light of the setting sun, like a beacon in the dark of this rotten city. Lucille's heartbeat began to quicken. Her legs trembled beneath her. Hot blood pumped through her veins in a way she didn't know it could. He looked at her, his strong, masculine figure towering over the bloodied corporate corpse, which just a moment ago had violently tried to defile Lucille's virtue. What's the matter with me? Her mind raced. Why him? Why me? Hundreds of questions burned inside her brain, but when she finally parted her lips to speak, only one question emerged. Who are you, really? Croman took Lucille into his cold metal hands. She flinched at the touch. You know I can't tell you that. They'll find you. They'll rip my secret out of you any way they can, and then kill you. I don't care any about that. I love you. I love you. She couldn't feel his face, his real one, concealed under that veil of chrome, but she could have sworn she could hear a note of emotion in his deep voice. You love a dream. You don't know who hides under this mask. I don't care what you look like. What if I'm disfigured? I'll pay for the operation. And if I'm an android? It doesn't matter. And if... Then suddenly, in one swift motion, Croman removed the mask to reveal the face of Damata de la Vale. What if I'm a woman? Lucille stood there, dumbstruck. A tempest of emotion swirled in a frenzy throughout her being, but after a moment passed, the storm calmed and she smiled warmly, taking her savior's face into her hands. The proverbial clouds of her tumultuous mind began to part. Lucille was beginning to see clearly at last. How many times does a woman need to say she loves you? Lucille smirked and whispered softly, before you believe her. Sex and Chrome Waves of pleasure cascade over my body, filling every pore of my being like ocean water through hot sand. More! I want more! How long I waited to feel his breath on my neck, his hands wrapped around my waist, his fingers caressing my lips. Our bodies are entwined in a primal dance, moving faster and faster to the rhythm of the creaking bed springs, our skin bathed in flickers of neon. I can't hear myself moaning, but I must be since my throat is dry. I can't feel what my hands are doing, but the blood under my fingernails means I'm digging into his back. He's no longer kissing me, but nibbling, biting, pulling himself toward me harder. His control over me untamed, animalistic. It's so hot in the room that even his chrome is overheating, the bedsheets clinging to our sweat-soaked bodies. I feel like people should be paying me to read this shit. This is a uh, this is an X-rated Mapocalypse audiobook right now. <laughs> fuck's sake. Crime block. McCrane scanned the room with a deft Karoshi sweep. This corpse was no different than the dozens he'd seen over the years. The dead man's eyes frozen in fear, his ligaments, wires, and intestines strewn about the floor. None of it made any impact on McCrane anymore. I've lived too long, he thought, and cops who don't die quickly usually find themselves playing for the other side eventually. This case is as clear as a used napkin at Dep Deputy Zhao's, he murmured to Junior Inspector Malino Malinowski. Cyber Psycho, coming through the window. Victim let him inside. Must have known each other. Prints are all over the glass. Holy shit! Malinowski shook his head in disbelief. How the fuck it get all the way up to the 11th floor? 
See those grooves in the windowsill? Climbing spikes. Implants kids these days are getting installed to pull stupid rooftop stunts get cheap thrills. Malinowski made his way over to the window to examine the evidence his superior had so effortlessly pieced together. The veteran detective lit a cigarette and stared back into the corpse's lifeless eyes. Although McCrane had never seen this man before, he felt as if he had known him a long time. And still, he felt nothing for him. No pity. No compassion. This was only a body now. No longer a person. Suddenly, Malinowski's unsteady voice woke McCrane from his thoughts. Ah, uh, boss? These prints are outside the window. They, they belong to you. McCrane let out a quick, punctuating chuckle. <laughs> Never much took you for a jokester, Malinowski, the detective said with an amused smirk as he rolled up his sleeves to expose his wrists. And I wonder, just how would I get up there without any climber's claws, hmm? But before the junior inspector could respond, McCrane felt an in uneasiness shoot up his spine. This room, this man, the smell of his blood. He felt compelled to walk over to the savaged victim and reach inside his pocket. A photo. His own face staring back at him. Malinowski slowly drew his pistol. I believed in you, the shaken protege uttered with a pain in his voice. All this time, I idolized a murderer. I don't understand, muttered McCrane, scarcely loud enough to hear his own voice. Something else began to drown out his words, even his thoughts. A strange, primal force. For the first time in my life, I don't understand. And then, crack, a gunshot. Crime block. Damn, it's like the literature is so compelling when you read it, too. It's really good. The Chronicles of Titania, book one. It makes you just want uh, cyberpunk novels in the universe that, like, continue these stories. Even if we do get ones that are kind of references to other things, you know. The Chronicles of Titania. You haven't an idea what you're talking about. The green-haired woman snorted and mockingly smiled. I have visited many worlds, each built on a lie. All. Although, this might be the first time I've seen its people so stubbornly close their eyes to it. Visan felt a rage swell inside of him. How dare this woman, an outsider to the utopia of Titania, so harshly criticize a system that has guaranteed the happiness of millions? He thought to himself, if anyone is blind here, it's you! Visan finally erupted. Titania knows no inequity, no scarcity. For the first time in human history, everyone belongs to the privileged class. The woman smiled softly with a mischievous twinkle in her amber eyes. Is that so? She asked. And your work at this cannery? Why are you unhappy there? Nissan forced himself to remain calm, and, in truth, he wasn't sure why the stranger's comments had made him so upset. Perhaps it wasn't the foreigner's fault she could not comprehend that humankind finally achieved the ideal society. Her home, as she described it, resembled a primitive world, one long tainted by the stain of feudalism. In a sense, she was like a child, intelligent, yes, but ignorant and self-righteous to a fault. There must be a group within society responsible for this type of work, Bissan explained. Thankfully, due to the advancement of robotics, the means of production have become fully automized and shifted away from our hands. We now serve only in supervisory roles, so to answer your question, no, I'm not unhappy. The robots do my work for me. Wait, you do know what robots are, right? Of course I do. We have something similar. Only made from clay and stone, the limehead woman replied, still with a smug toad in her voice. Very well, your world has done away with work done by hand. But if that is the case, does that not mean workers such as yourself have lost their former value? Are you suggesting that there are none who govern your progress from above your standing, who determine your responsibilities? No response. The woman's golden eyes flashed as she laughed at Vassan's confused, flustered silence. My apologies. The stranger's lips curled into an embarrassed smile. Maybe you are an equal member of this corpo... corporation? But of what I've seen here, nothing about it matches what you have described. We'll have to find book two to continue the story. And the other notes we will be reading next time, because we picked up quite a few. But that will be the ones that we read at the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time.